What's up, guys? I'm excited today. I want to talk about esports. You know that esports scene that's going on. You know, competitive gaming. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you, are you fine with it? Does it matter to you? Does it affect you? As a gamer, I don't. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the competitive scene because, you know, competitive scene it makes it, it's restricted. It restricts you to one game. You know. And that's not what I'm all about. I'm about variety of games. As you guys see on my channel, I'm posting all different types of stuff. Uncharted, Batman, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Halo, Assassin's Creed, Gears of War. I'm posting all these different games. Grand Theft Auto. Because I love it. I love playing different games. I love going into these different worlds. You know, getting all these reactions from different players. You know, online interactions are cool. I mean, competitiveness is fine when you're playing multiplayer. That's what it's all about. Especially when you're playing... Uh, yeah, matches against each other, but for me, competitive games is all right. I mean, I've subscribed to a couple uh, uh, pro gamers like Nate Shot, Optin Nate Shot. I don't know what it is about Optin Nate Shot, but something about him, he's great. I think some, you know, I think having a strong YouTube channel and and being a competitive gamer really helps you with your team. But some some pro players don't do that. I don't understand why, but maybe they just don't feel like it. They don't need to. But hey, it, it's whatever. I really did enjoy MLG, I guess, when it was big, when Halo was around. That's when I started kind of getting a little bit of interest. I was such a big, I was I was so big on Halo 3. I was always, I was not obsessed, but I was like, I was, I was more interested in competitive gaming when Halo 3 was big, you know. And hopefully Halo does come back on top instead of Call of Duty. Hopefully Halo 5 will change that. Probably won't because people are tiring of Halo. I mean, people are still playing Halo, but it's still going on, but not, people People aren't play, playing the new Halo, Halo 4, which sucks, because, I mean, I like that game, but I don't know what it is sometimes, sometimes it's just like, uh, why do I not com continue playing this game, I don't know what it is, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section about that, because, nah, I'm all, ugh. And, and the esports thing, I mean, what do you guys think, is, do you think, this competitive gaming is like an actual sport. Do you count this like an actual sport? I mean, I count this as actual competition. This is this is actually a competitive thing. But then again, you can is arm wrestling a sport? Is chess a sport? Is uh, well, armor? I mean, what people like to think sports like something physical. Well, technically, you are playing a video game that it does take physical movement with your fingers. But it's not like you get muscles in your fingers from playing too much video games. I don't know. That's possible. I don't even know. Are there muscles in my fingers? I think there are, but whatever. Because, you know, so I, I don't want really to consider this a real sport, but it's a competition. You know, you get money for it. It's good. Uh, I mean, being a, what I like to be a pro gamer, I mean, it depends. If I was like a pro gamer in either Halo, Call of Duty, or just franchises that last a long time, why not? You know, so I don't know about League of Legends or StarCraft or something like that. Those. I'm I'm not into those games. But I'll, I'll try to get into those maybe sometime in the future, but right now, I don't think I'm gonna make it through with those games. Like I said, I'm all about variety, and if I'm just restricted to one game, it's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna go insane. It's gonna make me rage more. You know, if I'm always if I can if you continue playing Call of Duty, for example, you know, just days for days in in and out, you're gonna get frustrated with this game because you know it's the only game you've been playing for so long. And I think that's why it's important to play different games to freshen up, get just get out in the get, get out in the sun, experience new things. That's why that's why I want Titanfall. That's why I want Destiny. That's why I want I don't know. I just want something different. Say whoa, something to blow me away. Watch Dogs, something other than what's been coming at us for years. So that's what I. That's why, you know, being competitive gamer, doing GBs and whatnot, that's, that's not what I'm about. I'm about having fun. But you guys can differ, differ. I'm pretty sure you guys love the competitive scene and like playing other games. You guys just like watching them, cheering on your favorite teams, which is all cool. I would love to have my own type of team, though. Like, maybe have my own. Yeah, that's, that seems a little messed up, you know, being like a, a leader of my team but not actually on the team. That'd be pretty interesting. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about esports. Do you think you know it's 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 a good it's a good job, it's a good career? I it could I mean it could be. I mean, I don't think you would last very long as a pro gamer because you know, as you age you get tends a little slower, your reaction time 
isn't as good as it once was, you know, you get old and your vision starts getting messed up, you know, so I don't think competitive gaming is really will last long, maybe only last to like your late 30s, maybe at the end of like 32, I don't even, I can't see a pro gamer at 32, but it's something, you know, what are you going to do after your pro game career, what are you going to do, are you going to just have a big YouTube channel and then just stream the rest of your life, or are you going to try to do something else, are you going to maybe be like a sponsor or a coach, <laughs> A coach for your MLG team. It's it's something to think about, which I really like. And this gameplay, it's competitive. I like it, but <laughs> I died a couple times. Whatever, more than a couple times actually. But it's a competitive game. That's why I posted it. But let me know what you guys think about all this. And because <laughs> you know, being a pro gamer, it'd be nice. You know, it's if it's gonna feel like a long time, but it's gonna go by quick. And I say just live the moment when you can if you are a pro gamer. It's a, I think it's a blessing, a blessing. But you know, it's a great opportunity because you do have to get work your way to the top to be a pro gamer. And it's whatever. So I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm all aboard. I'm all aboard with pro gaming esports. I think it's really just you know it's competition. You get money for it. Why not? So let me know. Just, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about esports what do you guys think about it? is it relevant is it irrelevant are you okay with it would you like to be one sunday or are you just there to cheer on your favorite team or do you not care for it let me know it's all good it's a, it's a subjective uh situation here so guys like and subscribe and share with your friends it really helps me out i want to get this discussion going about esports mlg competitive game whatnot it's an interesting topic you know not the most interesting topic in the world but it's something to think upon, you know, seeing that you can make, you can make money almost doing anything, so why not gaming, right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I probably said that way too many times in this commentary, but it's all good. I'm DMLX. I'll see you in the future.